Hi guys. Hey, quick one on the wiring. So somebody's following along what we've been up to. We had fixed a couple things elsewhere, but we jump right back on the wire. Um, wiring in the circulators and wiring in the thermostats, and we're putting a sub panel right here. So the boiler room has its own power, and there'll be a couple of other runs coming down in here. But right now, the first run that we had ran in there is power for our circulators. So, Pixie Hut. We went behind the wall because we really didn't want to run a bunch of wires. Well, if we could, we could conceal it. Why not? Without making too much trouble, why not? So, we conceal this power supply, and that one comes up from behind the wall over the ceiling. And then uh, that supplies power for your circulators, which is this is your relay. And now these circulators are just um, MC cabled over with our uh, 90 clamps. And then they, they're uh, put through without touching any pipe work because there's no, no need to send heat to the wire like that. So we don't clamp our wires to our pipes because these pipes are running 180 sometimes, the supply anyways. So that's the relay. You notice the height we chose on our pumps was because we wanted to get up to almost up to eye level because we do have inspection um, LED lights on these pumps we need to look at every now and then. And uh, visually, you got to look at your relay every now and then. So rather than stick it somewhere down low, it's at eye level. And then. We're not going to have all of our thermostat runs right now. We'll have to come by at the very end and run our, our foyer and bedroom. Although we have the wire, maybe we'll have to wire in later. So what we did is just have a junction box here. And we're running our thermostat wires in that bay. And they'll all come down and then they'll all come pass through this junction box. And then they'll splice down inside to our relay like that. So... Pretty much that's it for the wiring. Just a little bit of the circulator. And then you see this wire connected here. That's actually typically a TT. You connect there if it's a different boiler than a Navion, but this is a Navion relay. And they have a communication cable you can just plug right in. And that comes down and plugs back into the boiler on the boiler board. And then there is your boiler circulator and that just wires into the boiler board also but um, that's pretty much it guys you just these are uh, these little circulators don't draw many amps at all I think two amps so there's not much power to run them which is nice because that's um, running efficient if they're running a lot if they run with low amps that's a nice um, savings anyways I got the girl with me, and uh, we're going to head out. We're going to head for her walk and stuff. But uh, at the same time, we labeled things now. I mean, I, they know they have six stickers and decals, so it's just easy enough for us to shopping marker what's going on here in case uh, someone else comes along and has to service this boiler down the road. Everything is uh, labeled with arrows where the water's going. You can see the supplies. You can see the returns. Um, and, uh, and the zones are all designated. Even the pressure we had put in the tanks. 80 in that one and 20 in this one. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. We're just wiring up our circulators. And um, we're going to provide a, an outlet... Um, dedicated just for the boiler right there and then we're going to put an outlet for our condensate pump right over there so we have power and then you know this boiler just plugs in and that's it for the power then we gotta after that we're gonna jump on our condensate line to get it down into our condensate pump which is gonna just sit on the floor there and we're going to work on our, sorry Angie, our, our Dura vent. That's our, that's our exhaust. 
we'll show you how that goes and how it ties in and how it exits we'll show you that's after after the wiring all right guys that's it for now until the next one take it easy